Yes, all right. Uh, when you look at this, this is the most amazing hair cell that I've ever created. And it is making something good in the whole world. I love it. It just came and I don't know how it came in my mind, but just know I named it, I created it, and now it is here. So we're going to be seeing on most of the tips that uh, I tried to uh, get to use because I previously posted this video. Those ones who have been watching it, but it's only one video that I posted, and there's some things that we didn't um, get well because I've been seeing your comments. So now let's try to do it in this video so that we can get. Uh, to learn how to do it very well and maybe I'll be able to answer all the questions that you asked uh, that you will need to know so uh, I would like you to uh, make sure that we uh, subscribe so that we get Morris the crochet master all right yes indeed uh, my name is maurice the project master and i would like to welcome everyone who is watching right now yes thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure that we learn every week yes i upload videos every week uh, for us to learn so i'm just going to be uh, somehow um let me try to explain everything in this video so that uh, we uh i answer all the questions that you've been asking uh in, in the in the the other previous uh video so when we are doing this kind of a hairstyle we there are a lot of things that we consider but uh, for today's case let me try to answer you guys uh, some of those questions that you asked yes number one we have to do the puff corners yes i remember by then i used to do the behind corners like the uh the corners that are going behind and then i realized one thing that there's some people who always want to hold uh, this crochet they'll want to hold it puff and i realized that if the corners are going behind it might be very hard for them to hold it puff so uh, that's why uh, uh, we decided to start doing it in a puff way so uh, on that i'll also want to add um that whenever you are adding when you when you're doing these puff corners yes of course it's supposed to be the inside uh inside corners yeah those are those are the corners that I told you that it lasts the the, the last it lasts longer than these other corners according to my experience when you do this kind of the inside corners so um when you do the puff corners and uh, then another thing you just have to focus on the lines that you're going to separate this crochet uh, let's say my clients would want it to be in the sideways or in the middle way and still to hold it apart because that is why we are using these kind of corners so uh, what you will need here you will have to make sure that your line in the middle it is in the perfect position because sometimes when we do these puff uh, corners you find like uh, maybe the line in the middle is not there and uh, it be it, it becomes very hard for, for a client let's say you focus on the side let's first look at this this is the material that we always use like those of who have been asking and i will have to make sure that we put uh, the link in the bar in the, in the bio uh, in that sorry in the description you can go and link get this material for yourself so that you can use it so uh if i continue with that that uh, it's supposed to be in the middle on the sides and even to hold a puff so it means your corners are supposed to be uh in the uh, it's supposed to be perfect line that line is supposed to be perfect in the middle sometimes we always focus on the side line and then when you do it you find like uh, the line in the middle is is not on the uh, the, uh, the right uh position and then they look bad so you should always try to 
mind about that and then um our kinky this is how it is it looks after you have um um ma ma made it very soft and then this is our anti itchy the mdc are uh, very very nice uh, yes at least i've got some a review net of uh, the people have been oh, y y the people have been using it yes it is working very very well for the anti itch and still it boosts uh, the hair uh, the hair to grow yeah and i myself i use it and you can see how my hair um, that healthy so it is very very nice so after focusing on all that we are going to start doing the crochet so the only mistake that uh, most of you guys have been doing and seeing that your crochet is not coming out very well is that you have not been packing it right you don't you don't you you have you have not been packing it right and this crochet need a lot of packing like you need to over pack you need to over pack so when you over pack it it becomes huge but uh, according to the way it is done the way it is done is that uh, when when it is over packed um, and then you try to make the um, the uh, the palm rods uh, the, you try to make the cows down it always shrinks like it 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 it, it, it becomes uh, few you understand uh, yes it becomes few so um if you don't overpack at the beginning and you do the cows it's going to be very very little on the head so that's why i always try to advise you guys like most of the times whenever you're doing it try to overpack it you need to overpack at least yes you feel like it is well packed and by the time you're doing the uh the palm rods uh it it, it will always be very very easy for you and it will look very nicely so that is the one key and the one procedure that when it comes to these junky cow and then another thing is that most people have been telling me about uh, their cows uh, to lose. Um, yes, they disappear after a while. Um, after doing the, the cows and then they disappear. Yes, sometimes it comes to the water. Uh, the water, yes, if your water, they are not ready uh, very, very well boiled. Like if you don't boil it to, to, to be uh, that, that are, they are half cooked these cows won't get that enough uh enough uh here to, to to the cows to stay there for a long time so uh you should always try to make sure that the water that you're using is really really very very hot very like really cooked well uh, for it to use so mind about all that and then uh i would uh, still i would go that questions again um uh, sometimes even the cows might go according to the clients yes sometimes uh, after doing these cows and you find someone wants to style it so uh by the time you're going to remove the styling and you find the cows have disappeared you understand uh so i wouldn't advise at least then then to do the styling remember uh, when you uh palm rod them that water remained there and then uh if you try to style it when the water is uh, like when the water is still like when they're still wet mm, they're not yet strong enough to uh, to hold those cows for all that time so uh you should make sure at least um you can style it after a while yes after maybe like a week two weeks then there you can style it but it's no good like to style it there and then yeah, because i've found all that that, that that incident also to my client like we did the palm rods and uh, when she left the way she held it at home like she held it in a bad way in that she even over pulled the cows and then the next day she was showing me how the cows are off how they are looking like so i also felt bad but it's just because of mishandling it 
and that is what i'm trying to explain here and then another procedure is that you need to follow your palm rods it's not like you just need you, you just have to palm rod it anyhow no you just how you just need to follow your palm rod the way you're supposed to palm rod um the way you're supposed to palm rod uh, you, you just need to follow the procedures of palm rolling it so as you can see that i'm following the lines that on the step by step step by step it's not like i just palm rolled on the one line because i've been saying people like you just pull the whole hair and then you palm roll it on the on one line but the only thing you can do just have to um uh, to follow the steps of the palm rods if you do the first line and you make the palm rod it means the second line is going to be a little bit ab um, uh, ab ab above than the other yes that's how the the, the, the cows can be uh, following the steps so you just don't need to uh, uh, palm rod them on 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 one on the same level so that's what kills it uh you know, that's what makes it look bad so you should always try to make sure that you do those and trust me if you do it right these are the best cows ever and i like it since it's a protective hair cell very very easy to maintain and remember this is that um, even if the cows are done like maybe you have spent with it like a month or two months you can still recall them and they look as new as possible you understand yes so that's how good amazing these junky curl are and yes i would love you guys also try it out but still try to follow these steps the first line the way it is it can be the same uh, the same height the second line is slightly above than the first line so they have to be in steps you don't need to make them on the same same line yes so my name is maurice the project master and guys trust me i really love um love what we do yes um, yeah uh, whenever i see like those comments people sharing their um i would say their testimony is that maybe like my vi my video have changed their lives yes it's also i feel good because yes what it does to you is the same thing it does to me yeah when we subscribe we watch oh uh, we always share so uh, this is what uh, i would say that uh, please let's keep doing that and uh, read um welcoming on the return subscribers yes thank you so much and you're most welcome so after i'm done with all that you can see i'm removing my palm rods but it's not like you just remove anyhow guys you just need to follow all these steps because when you follow them i always teach my uh, what i always tell my students that if you cannot do what i do then it will always come out not like what i teach you you understand so you always need to do what i'm supposed to tell you to do maybe if you want to create something else you understand but if you are we are learning that now we are learning the junkie calls then you need to do them the way i'm supposed to do them the way i do them but if you do it your way then uh it i think there's something else might come out yeah that's how you should know that's what you should know so even and i'm rolling them i still follow the steps why is because i want my cows to be on the same uh the, the, they they the, the, they're going to sort where our uh, where they were supposed to be you understand because now these cow these are the are cows so they need to uh be in their um, steps that's why i'm like putting one one arranging them very well not like doing them and then i just uh i just put them there since they're cows no all the things need doing them step by step so that your job comes out very nicely yes so if you do this it will look exactly the way mine looks yes let's try to make this um we remove we, we, we get this out of someone says that yeah morris's junkie cows that are different from uh, others yeah i created it so i know all the mistakes and the things that you can do and they look bad so you try it out this 
and you will see it coming very nice my name is morris the project master i love you guys may god bless you all bye bye see you in the next video